Hi everyone, welcome back and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shen. Today I'm going to be trying out the Huda Beauty Luminous Matte Foundation. So I know this isn't my normal scheduling, but I really wanted to get this video out for you guys because Boots is actually having a discount now on this foundation. If you are in the US, I'm not sure where you can get this one, but I will leave links down below. But at this moment, Boots is doing a 20%, I think, off this foundation. This retails for £34, and right now Boots is doing it for £27.20. Plus, if you have a Boots loyalty card, you will get points for it. I think you get about 102 or 120 points. So I'm not going to go into too much details with the specs of the foundation because you can find it online. It is a full coverage foundation. The new one is supposed to be a luminous matte but I'm guessing that's supposed to be like soft matte. The original was a matte foundation. I am in the shade cinnamon and I do leave all of my foundation shade matches in the description box down below if you are curious. I will also leave a link to the original foundation in the cards above and in the description box down below so you can check that out. Now I'm in the shade cinnamon so the only major difference between these two foundations seems to be the finish and the fact that the new one has no fragrance the new finish is supposed to be a luminous matte finish and I'm guessing that's supposed to be like a soft matte finish whereas the original is like a really matte matte finish so the packaging seems to be pretty much the same the boxes are almost identical there's like a slight difference with the original and the new box and then the actual packaging for the foundation is completely the same there's nothing that's changed and this is supposed to be a reformulated version of the original she's taken on everyone's advice and just reformulated the old foundation to make it a better upgrade. I know there's been controversy with the brand in the past but I do have to commend them for being forward thinking and really listen to the, listening to their customers and what they want. This isn't the first time that they've gone ahead and reformulated products that they've had which really means that they're listening to us and taking on our critiques and making the products better and there's nothing greater that a brand can do than to do that. So I'm going to swatch these for you guys up against each other so you can see if there's any shade difference. So this is the original shade and this is what it looks like. What I found with the old cinnamon was that it was too yellow to olive for me so I'm kind of hoping that the new foundation shade might be slightly different and then this is what the the new formulated foundation looks like. Personally I think that the new faux filter foundation in the shade cinnamon is a lot more warm than the old foundation. I do find that the old foundation is more in the yellow golden olive undertones opposed to the new one. I think that's more warm. I can see a little bit more orange coming through but you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. So I've just let the foundation dry down a little bit so you can see the difference when it's wet and when it's dried. I think I used the Milk Hydro Grip Primer the last time I tried the original Faux Filter Foundation so that's what I'm going to use today. If you guys want to see a video on me trying out the original I will leave it in the cards above. Now I also think I used a brush because the consistency of this is very thick. But I think I'm just going to go in with a sponge because I can't be bothered. So I'm just going to pump one pump, two whole pumps of foundation. I don't even think I need that much, but. Okay, so this half of my face has the foundation on and this half is completely clear. Straight away, this foundation still feels quite matte, but it doesn't feel as matte as the original foundation. I still think it looks pretty matte. See, I don't know if it's the primer as well because the Milk Hydro Grip is quite mattifying. So it could be the primer. But I do still feel like it's matte, but it's just not as matte as the original foundation. It's definitely full coverage. That just went on like literally a dream and it's covered literally almost everything. So yeah, I'm going to put some more on this side of my face and yeah. I'm going to go in with half a pump because this does dry pretty quickly so you need to move fast. This 
this is my full face with the foundation on it does dry down pretty quickly so you have to move quite fast um i'm loving the way it looks like i i i really like the way it looks like i feel like the original one i thought it was okay it wasn't like spectacular but this i do really like the way it looks it's full coverage um the color match isn't that bad either i think it's not as yellow as the original one as i said before let me just show you guys my chest yeah i'm gonna quickly finish up the rest of my makeup off camera and then come back and show you guys what it's looking like Okay, so I've already done my face. I haven't set yet. I'm gonna use my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. So this is what my face all finish is looking like and I really, really like how this foundation looks. I like it so much better than the original one, um, especially the fact that it has no fragrance because the fragrance for the original one was definitely a deal breaker and I have to really commend her on this foundation because i actually really like it and i'm not even a full coverage type of person it is 4 25 now it's quite late but i am going to wear the foundation for as long as i can and then i'll give you guys some check-in so you can see how it's worn okay so it's basically almost half past eight now i know i haven't been wearing the foundation for a very long only four hours but this is what the foundation is looking like um, on camera I do look a lot more oily than in person and that's because I'm using studio lighting but in person it looks more like a healthy glow not like oily and I actually really like how it looks it kind of makes it look a little bit more natural um, not that the foundation didn't look natural before but it's obviously a full coverage foundation. So the only area that I think looks considerably more oily is my nose. Everywhere else looks completely fine. And I have to say for a full coverage foundation, it's really, really comfortable and lightweight. I can't feel the foundation getting heavier or tighter on my face. You know, as time goes by and my oils start to seep through, it still feels really comfortable to wear. The foundation just looks flawless. It looks flawless in person and even though it's shown up as oily on camera, it still looks considerably flawless. There's no cracking of the foundation, there's no patchiness and I didn't have any transfer, like I don't have anything negative to say about this foundation, it just looks flawless. 15. 